Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, really excited about this weekend. I pray that you are excited also and pray that you have a blessed and happy and prosperous weekend. Amen. And remember my favorite scripture, Nehemiah 8 and 10 says, The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. So contemplate on that. And then if you're going through some difficult situations or some troubles or some problems in your life this at this point in time, remember that God's joy is going to help bring you through. And also I want to tell you to stop looking at problems as uh uh, stop looking at opposition as problems and uh, situations and start looking at it as opportunities. Amen. Because God sometimes, you know, I don't know God. He's an awesome God. He's a strategist. He, he's perfect. He's full of uh, love and compassion for you, even though you may be going through a difficult time or situation right now. But remember this, God often hides opportunity in opposition. Hallelujah. That's enough to shout right there. Amen. So remember to have a blessed and prosperous. The reason why I keep moving because I have like a glare. But anyway, so much for me, uh, as long as you can hear me. Amen. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Forget about your problems. Forget about your situation. Sit it on the shelf for right now and just praise God right now in the midst of it. And if you take your mind off the problem and put your mind on God, hallelujah, and the positive and not the negative, amen, because there's so many positive things, but we can get so caught up in being negative in our situations that we don't even see the purpose sometimes or the hidden opportunities. So take time to get in God's word, to get in his presence, to think about what's going on, to rearrange your life, to think about what you need need to do to get that joy in the midst of the trouble and situation amen and remember that all problems are not necessarily the end of the world it's not the end of the world amen it could be a hidden opportunity for you if you just get quiet and draw on the joy draw on god's strength amen well i'm going to get ready to go and if you do not know the lord jesus christ your personal lord and savior i pray that you would confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior this day. All you got to do is say, Lord, forgive me for my sins and come into my heart. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus is Lord. Amen. And you are saved. Amen. Saved from what? You can be saved from a lot of different things, heartaches and stuff. We're all going to have problems. We're all going to have situations. But sometimes, most of the times, all of the time, <laughs> having Jesus in your life just makes it so much better, so much easier, so much better. Amen. Call upon Jesus. Draw from his joy today, this weekend. Amen. I love you guys. Have a blessed and prosperous Friday and a blessed and prosperous weekend. And remember to visit me at drchristinerene.com. And thank God for all my social media friends and networks via Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a blessed and happy weekend. Bye-bye.